While thinking about this video, I just remember my trips to different countries in the world where I was fascinated by food differences for breakfast. A few things came to my mind straight away and I decided to recreate these amazing gastronomic experiences at home. So instead of me having all this experience for myself, I'm sharing with you these breakfast ideas inspired by some of my trips. I chose three countries, Brazil, Switzerland and Argentina. And of course, I added my own twist to each meal. I will expand on each a little bit more, but this time all meals are gluten-free. Let's head to Brazil straight away. I left my heart in Brazil, Copacabana Beach, lovely people, breathtaking nature. Brazil has so much to offer in terms of fresh fruit and vegetable. It was so eye-catching to see such a colorful food or even more extreme things such as sugarcane extraction. Yes, of course I tried. And yes, of course it made my heart beat much faster. I'm not going to add this shot to my breakfast table. But still, I keep it as a great memory from Rio. The good thing is you can always recreate the meals you love from the trips straight away in your kitchen. I chose Brazilian tapioca crepe. They can be savory and sweet and it was actually too hard to decide which one to go for, so I kept both. All I knew that it was made from flour and water. I did my research and I had not one and not two failed attempts, but I didn't want to give up. And I finally make it. I ended up loving making it. If any Brazilians are watching this video, I'll be happy to see your tips in the comments below. I used tapioca starch and mixed it with water. You can also add a pinch of salt. Mix with your hands and it should feel a crumbly texture. Then sift it and get ready with a non-stick pan. Heat up the pan, I added some coconut oil, then spread flour evenly and wait till crepe slides evenly in the pan. That will take around 2 minutes. Flip the crepe over with a spatula and cook for around 1 minute. For savory tapioca filling, I went for scrambled tofu and spinach mix. I used one block of tofu mixed with pepper, spinach, nigella, salt, little bit of nutmeg and turmeric. Fry onion first on olive oil, add salt and pepper, fry till golden, add tofu mixture and fry till it comes together and hot. Dash some smoked paprika and finally chop jalapeno and sun dried tomato. For sweet tapioca crepe, I chose banana jam coconut cream, mango cut, and some fresh fruit. Slice bananas, cook it on the pan, and slowly add pineapple juice. Cook it till it gets golden. I really want to see this golden, beautiful color. Finally, add lemon juice just some lemon skin. Drop the whole thing in a pan as the skin naturally contains pectin which helps to thicken the whole jam. I also wanted to fill my crepes with mango curd and coconut cream. Let's head back to Europe. When I think about my numerous visits to Zurich and my stay at the hotel, which is now permanently closed because of the COVID, in my mind I come back to this beautiful breakfast area where modern style and nature marry together, and on top of that, impeccable service just adds the value to the whole stay at this mountain surrounded hotel. Without a doubt, my favorite breakfast meal 
was Chia and coconut porridge. That probably doesn't sound like the most typical thing when we talk about Switzerland, right? But I was surprised how such a, let's say, ordinary thing can be executed so perfectly delicious. I always wanted to replicate this porridge, but this time I give myself no more excuses. I rolled my sleeves up and went to the kitchen, added my own touch and came up with Chia Bounty porridge. Very coconutty and very chocolate. I bring to boil oat milk and sprinkle chia seeds on low heat and cook them. Towards the end, I add two tablespoons of coconut milk. Leave it to set and let's give more time for seeds to absorb more moisture. In the meantime, let's prepare the rest of the ingredient. For chocolate crunch granola, I just blended all the ingredients together and mixed with melted chocolate. I left the side to set a little bit and to get more crunch. For Bounty Energy Bowl, the same method. Just blitz everything together, form the bowl, and to make it look a bit nicer, I just roll it in some desiccated coconut. I also prepare some fresh coconut to keep this meal presentation more vibrant and stick to the whole thematic. Let's head to Latin America again. If you saw my previous videos, you probably noticed that I mentioned Argentina a few times. This is a very special personal mark on the map for many reasons. When talking about food, there is one particular thing that stands out the most, mate. It was hard to like it at the beginning, but I adopted this new habit to drink it in the morning every day. But let's have a look what I'm talking about. I will show how to make and actually how to prepare proper mate. So first of all, we take calabasa and we fill it with yerba mate, not too full. This blitzed leaves contains quite a lot of dust. So what we do, we shake the dust out. Trying not to make less. Then hot water, just a tiny bit to stick bombilla, like more or less 45 degrees angle and keeping bombilla closed at the same time. Kasi kasi, almost ready pour more hot water. They fill the thermos with hot water and just keep sipping all day. But I find it amazing thing in the morning. I love it on empty stomach. I love it with the meal. I love having a merienda with mate. So for this breakfast table, I think it's a perfect addition. I know it's not always possible to travel as much as we want, but gastronomy is a real travel experience, isn't it? These treasurable travel memories are for life and to bring them back as this breakfast table expression, I think it's something amazing. As always, find all the recipes in my description below. Let's have fun in the kitchen. And if you feel like you enjoy and connect with my content, I would love you to subscribe so we can be friends on this platform. Thank you for watching and see you next week.